an environmental catastrophe pose existential threats to our survival. War is development in reverse. It kills masses of people and diverts resources from productive uses, such as education and health, which are vital to human flourishing and well-being. Nuclear weapons could, if used, end human societies or even life on the planet. As for the environment, it is what sustains life on Earth. The air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we eat. We only have one Mother Earth and she is dying as a partial result of climate change which goes far beyond the weather. Climate change poses a threat to everything, to all lives on Earth, livelihoods and to all biodiversity due to increased pollution and reduced water supply and food. The effects of the war system are well documented. There is also an increasing, increasingly important body of work about the environmental crisis and how to solve it. What is less explored in all this work is the intersections between war and the environment. These are some of the factors that led World Beyond War to create this course. Grounded in research on peace and ecological security, this course goes some way to helping you understand the relationships between war and the environment. Over a six week period, you'll gain insight into where wars happen and why, what wars do to the earth, what imperial militaries do to the earth back home, what nuclear weapons have done and could do to people and the planet, how this horror is hidden and maintained, and what can be done about it. The course is 100% online and you can access the material 24 seven whenever works best for you. Weekly content includes a mix of text, image, videos, and audio. And the course also includes three one hour optional Zoom calls, which are designed to facilitate a more interactive and real time learning experience. You'll be guided through the course by esteemed experts who engage with participants through weekly chat rooms and provide feedback on optional assignments. A certificate is provided to participants who complete all optional assignments. So if you're interested in learning more about the intersections between war and the environment and how the peace and climate change movements might work together more effectively to broaden the reach of both, then please join us for this course.